This is how to make a supernova and today we're going to create this old water well. When you're playing D&D, Warhammer or any other miniature game it's always nice to have some small pieces of terrain around. So let's start building this one. For this build I wanted to try something new. So first I made a cylinder with my hot wire cutter and I drew a stone pattern on top of it. Then I took out the middle of the cylinder. You can do this with a knife when you're careful, but a hot wire cutter really makes this very simple. And then I sliced my cylinder in layers of 5mm. Then I took a pencil and carved in the stones I drew on earlier, and with a tin foil ball I pressed in some texture in the foam. For the shingles of the roof I wanted to try this new method. On a piece of foam I drew my shingles, and then I used my hot wire cutter to cut out the shingle pattern. I make the shingles 10 mm long. This is way too large for this scale, but I can use the extra length to glue the shingles together. And then I took my shingle foam block and cut it into 1 mm slices. For the wooden beams which are going to support the roof, I made 5 mm foam blocks. Carefully I pressed the toothpick inside of them to give them extra strength. I made sure the toothpick was long enough so that I could stick it inside the foam from the well and the wooden beam on top. Then it was time for gluing the well on the base. First I glued on my first ring, then uh, the other rings came on top of them. But when I placed them I made sure I turned them a little to get that stone wall effect. I put some glue on the toothpicks and then I pushed them into the foam. And then I added some glue on top of it so I could fix the third beam in place. Finally, I carved some wood panels into the foam with a sharp pencil. For the roof, I took a small piece of thin cardboard. I put some glue on it and then I took my first shingle and pressed it on the cardboard. Then, I added more glue on the cardboard, but this time also on the foam. Then I placed my second row of shingles so to overlap the first one. Then I repeated this process until this side of the roll was full of shingle. Because I made two separate pieces for the roof, I need something to fill in the gap, so I made some loose shingles. I shaved them with a toothpick, cut them with the scissors and then I glued them on top. For the next step I covered the whole base with PVA glue. I added some small rocks and then I covered everything in sand. Everything got a black base coat and then I dry brushed all the sand, the wooden parts and the roof. For the roof I started with a dark brown and then I added some red into my paint mix and gave the whole roof a second coat of paint. For every layer I am dry brushing I am adding more red paint into my mix and I make sure I touch less and less of the surface with every layer of paint. For the base I added just a little bit of orange into my paint. Dry brushing the stone is a very easy process. I start with a dark grey and with every layer I am adding more white paint. The last layer is almost pure white. Then I applied some PVA glue for the static grass. And this is a great way to hide any mistakes you made or hide some parts where there isn't enough sand on the base. I use my 5mm static grass and my applicator. I keep my cable near the wet glue and shake my applicator above my project. When I'm done I tap off all the loose grass and then I'm using a nylon stocking and my vacuum cleaner. This way you can reuse all of your basing materials. To add more detail I apply a little bit of 2mm grass in another color. Then I use my applicator with green 2mm grass to fill in all the gaps. To achieve a more aged look, I'm adding some flower tufts. I add some PVA glue and press them in place with the tweezers. As finishing touch, I'm going to add some coarse tuft to simulate these overgrowing plants. I really enjoy this step and it gives you very fast results. To tie this whole project together, I also put some coarse stuff between the grass. I added some soapy water and then some watered down PVA glue to seal everything.
thank you for watching my video i hope you enjoyed it please like and subscribe because it really helps the channel grow uh, there are more projects coming your way and maybe you should uh, check one of these videos in the meantime see you there